Okay. Oop, this guy just despawned and he had a knife on him. Time to go do the mine all mine mission. Because I want to do as much as I can while I can. Okay. I, I've been thinking about it. I might... No, because I need... Because I need the additional points. I might get rid of this one. Put the points into this one. And then can, like, keep these two. Because this is, like... One, it's hurt my eyes. And two, it's not doing a whole lot. Because you have to kill the enemy. It's not just get a critical hit. I don't know. I might... I might run with it. I don't know. Adjusted my chair because my chair is old. You made it to the mine? Good. Miners aren't mutated, so they aren't using the stuff themselves. Which means these guys are sending their iridium somewhere. I'll kill them all if I know where. Ooh, Goliath! I mean, it's the best thing to do. It's the best thing to do because it, one, provided you get the kill on it, gets you more XP. And two, uh, yeah, he's not going to aggro to anyone else. He takes, uh, takes care of other enemies for you. And you do get better loot. Huh? Ah, oh, really? There's a class mod for the siren. Now that you've wiped out the rabble, go find the head knife. If anybody's got the info I need, it's him. I do like how Death Trap is pretty much invincible. I mean, he isn't, but it takes a lot to put him down. Okay. Oh. Tundra Express has three... Three switches laying around that summons enemies. Hey, look, Iridium. Are you above or below? Gotta be careful with the Goliaths, because uh, any explosive damage knocks their helmets off. Hmm. Am I gonna go down? Yeah. Any explosive damage knocks their helmet off. So the Merv effect, not the Merv effect, but the... Uh, 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 like the cloud effect of the grenades. Knocks their helmets off of them. Okay, there's too many of you guys. It's probably an effect of the, uh... Oh, there's a badass where...
I don't think you're the badass, although you technically are. Mordecai, it'd be nice if your shots actually did damage, which they don't. There's the badass. More of them. Come on, how many times are you gonna spawn enemies? Never flip the switch. The siren class. Hey, look. Some random enemies can drop uh, cosmetics. Let's drop Alkaline Mistress for the siren. Okay, is that everything? Is everything dead? Now, how do I get up there? I think I have to run through the crusher. The crushinator. It's a parkour. It's parkour. Every time I say the word crushinator, I think of Futurama. I think of just the words you, who. Okay. The fact that this is required is obnoxious. More of you? There we go. Now I'll just say I'll just sit back here and I'll heal. Well, I'll reload first. I can't. She doesn't. Okay. Uh, contemplate whether or not I should pick this up. Sure. Maybe Tina has a quest for me. I guarantee you she doesn't. I guarantee, gosh darn to you, or guarantee goddamn to you, I guess, depending on how crass I want to be. Yeah, this tower is, is that Mordecai up there? Can you actually see him? You can. Yeah, they, they live in the same building, but you can't actually get up to his building, I believe. Dude, nap time. No, wake up. I've got work for you. Or you've got work for me, apparently. Yo, yo, 
yo, yo, yo, yo, yo, let's blow stuff up. Oh, you do have one. The pretty good train robbery. Welcome to my humble shop. High explosives, am I right? Pleasure doing business. Right. Yes, whatever. I got the boomers in the back. Get in. Okay. What was that one shield? Shield's apparently better than what I have. Uh, compared to mine, yeah, it's better. Tell your friend. Marcus, you need you. You, mean you have explosives here. Those miners you fought earlier were paid cash in exchange for iridium. Get to the station where their payroll train comes in, and we'll have ourselves a good old-fashioned train robbery. Yeah, train robbery, bank robbery, this game has it all. Is that just a two round? Yeah, it's a two round burst. Bandits used this station to rob passing trains. We're gonna have to use it to steal the bandits' payroll. Gotta love the irony. Use Tina's dynamite to blast the exit gate and block the tracks. Okay. <laughs> I love watching the Goliaths just flying through the air. Don't appreciate how much damage that one uh, attack did to me. Man, how much iridium do I need? 22 of it. I mean, I'll let the Goliath just run around and do his business. I think he's the only one left. No, they're shooting at him. Still, meaning... He did not level up, which means he's gonna die. Oh no, he leveled up. Run away! You can want whatever you want, buddy. I, it lands up there. Poisons the one guy up there, and then it falls down to poison the two guys below. Someone down here? Oh, there's another Goliath. At least on the bright side of enraging the Goliath is you don't have to worry about it not coming to you. You don't have to worry about it hiding out. Is that one or four? That's four. Iridium only comes in stacks of one or four, I believe. But there's no way of... Whoa! Oh, loot midget! There we go. Uh, loot midgets are... They're rare? But they'll they'll appear out of any box, any any box, treasure chests, cardboard boxes. They'll appear out of anything. Uh, there is, we haven't encountered Hyperion crates in a while. We ran into them at the very beginning of the game. Uh, there's a unique enemy that appears in those. 
that we've actually we've already learned about them. We saw him on a wanted poster. Uh, I don't want to. Oh, really? Mash the button. Mash it. Ugh. I got. I gotta start making sure my weapons are actually loaded. Okay. Why is why is that lit? Good. That'll leave the train nowhere to go. Now all oh, you gotta why. do is signal Hyperion and make like you're ready to sell some iridium. Why did I need Oh, I think I know why I needed four pieces of dynamite is because uh you blow open the train car itself. Okay. Uh, assault rifle damage upgrade, no. And... Uh... It's not the shield that I've been having issues with, it's the uh, health regen. Trade request received. Payroll train dispatched. You mean kaboom, kaboom? What's expl? Oh, uh, signal flares. Nope, something. Great job. The train is trapped. Exposing cash vaults. Please load Iridium shipment onto the train. Better idea. Put the rest of Tina's explosives on those safes and watch the fireworks. That's why, yeah. Uh... Okay. Yeah, here's here's the guy that can appear out of Hyperion boxes. Make it rain! That was awesome. That was awesome, although I would have preferred signal received. Dispatching troops to payroll train number six two seven. Get back to Tina whenever you're done dealing with those Hyperion reinforcements, killer. Good job all around. Okay. Those aren't exactly reinforcements. Now contemplating whether or not I should pull this one. Uh, do I gotta go? I don't think I ever have to come back to Tundra Express. No, I'm good. The other uh, siren, there's that one, the one in the mine shaft, and then there's the one uh, in the actual place you have to go and attack or whatever. The, uh, the place where we got Tina's crumpets last time. The giant buzzard camp. Which, there is an achievement to get to the very top of. Not, not an achievement, uh, it's a, a badass challenge thing. I keep forgetting, because these challenges are not, uh... Uh... They're not the actual game achievements. Like, Xbox and PlayStation has actual achievements. Okay. I think it's her eyes that I don't care for. So many, so many reasons I don't like her. Explosive fluster cluck. Now, I think I remember what Fluster Cluck does the explosive grenade. I believe it's a Merv Merv. Yep. Or is that just what Mervs do, period? Okay. 
Well, I don't have the ability to test anymore, but yeah. Red text weapons are always unique. There's not really any boring ones. Well, actually, there are plenty of boring ones, but that doesn't mean they're bad. Well, I'll uh, I'll see you guys at the uh, Happy Pig Motel because it's gonna take me a while to get there. All right, at the Happy Pig Motel. What in the world was that? Oh, it happened to do that. I got another skill point. I'll go check these machines to see if I can get something shock related. Which I don't think I ever will. Because I want it, therefore I won't get it. Alright. And where you gotta go is you gotta go... Uh, I don't think it's... Is it right there? Yeah, it's right there. Nope, oh, more skags, yeah. You can break your own car if you're not careful. Or if you're not, and by not careful, I mean, uh. If you're like me. To reconnect with your friends after you get through the fridge. Ow, that's gonna hurt. You guys are actually like my level, aren't you? Well, close. Pick up all the shield boosters. Huh? Are you guys above me? Yeah, you guys are above me. What? Really? This was just the one mission? No, because I guess the uh, getting Sanctuary into the air part is also rising action. Can't actually break that, I guess. Oh. And we just melee these and you can get money. We are not. Son of a. Oh. Witch. The door's iced over. Let me help you with that. Of course the door's frozen over it. The area is called the fridge. No chests here, which there typically is. The fridge. This, this level kind of kind of sucks, primarily because it's our well first introduction to an enemy that we've seen a couple times already. But this is when the game just spams them. I uh, optional quest dungeon area there, which is just kill a bunch of waves of enemies. Uh, Try not to die. Okay. Is this the quest I was thinking of? Nope. 
Yeah, that's the one that gives you the last storage I've upgrade. Following Jack's orders from the beginning, Jack modified the power core you found to have a Hyperion network uplink. Through it, I was able to access Sanctuary's defenses and lower them. It was all part of Jack's plan. So tunnel rats are pretty annoying. Uh, because tunnel rats can steal loot. And if they steal loot, they're able to deposit it into like a lockbox area. And when they do that, you ain't getting that back. Yeah, if they if they drop it off into like the lockbox, you ain't getting it back. If you kill them before they do, you can get it back. Death trap is just a glorified anti-air gun. Five years ago, I tricked Roland and his friends into opening the vault. I told them it was to protect Pandora from a great evil. That was a lie. Jack knew he could make a fortune off the iridium held within the vault. But he was too much of a coward to open it himself. Through me, he got the Vault Hunters to do his dirty work. I'm so tired of manipulating people. So tired of manipulating people. From the sounds of it, you've only done it twice. Mind you, yeah, twice is a crappy amount of time to do it, but still. Those aren't all... no. So here's a unique type of enemy. Crystalisks. Really? You can only kill them by hitting their, uh, like, their weak spots. Is there another one? Yeah. Crystalisks are kind of the lesser of the two evils here. special special slag enemies hey yeah chrysalisks drop money I gotta be careful because apparently their little nubbins they launch explode, and I wasn't aware of that. But if you ever want the challenge for critical hits, crystalisks are the things you fight. Is it a lab rat? <laughs> no. 
No, it's a tunnel rat. I think tunnel rats are the ones that drop things off. Because there's a couple types. There's lab rats, tunnel rats, and uh, uh, field rat. I don't remember which is which, other than lab rats are melee attackers that shoot laser beams at you when you get close to them. to trust me I get that but if you're going to stop Jack from controlling the warrior you'll need my help because I know where the key is it's with me a fantastic day for capitalism yeah transfusion fortunately it's a rubber rubber grenades are terrible don't die Invisible assholes. That's just what the one sign says. And I'm awesome. Hey, killer. I phased the city. No big deal. Find a way back here as quick as you can. Now that Sanctuary's reappeared, you can use any fast travel station to get back to the Crimson Raiders. I'll mark the nearest one on your Echo device. Yeah, sure. Let's just warp there really quick. Error. Location? Sanctuary. Not found. Oh, no. The phase blast must have taken Sanctuary off the fast travel network. Um... Okay. Head to the Iridium extraction plant nearby. I think I know how to get you back to your friends. You know... Oh. I didn't lie to you about everything. There they are. We are the only person who can stop Jack. Roland, Lilith, and Mordecai. He defeated them long ago. They can help you reach him, but in the end, it will be you who brings Jack down. Is it is the whole they can't do it because they're seeking vengeance sort of deal? Is this one of those if you if you seek revenge, dig two graves, sort of, uh, scenarios. Okay. Stalkers are, they go invisible. However, they have a caveat to their invisibility. They can only do it when their shields are up. Yeah, they can only do it if their shield's up. And you can... You can see them a little bit. Fortunately enough, the minimap also, uh tells you where they are. Ooh, I'll take that sniper rifle. I'll take that Vlad off. Yeah, status effects and uh, shock and the... No, was it? With their partial invisibility, uh, the minimap and status effects still appearing on them. Uh, they're not too big of a deal, but they can be obnoxious. Poke. Get back here. There we go. 
go. Okay, is this where... Yeah, first hot troopers are. Oh boy. Uh, this is gonna go sour. I don't have any ammo. I think my uh, rocket launcher is out of ammo. Well, not out of ammo. I think it's unloaded. Yep. No piles of ammo. Yeah, I don't exactly want to deal with that stalker. Like, stalker? <coughs> Stalkers, like, they're not bad. They're just... annoying. Alright. If you can cross the river and steal a supply beacon, we can get Sanctuary back onto the fast travel network. I promise. Little as I'm sure that means right now. Well, 37 minutes and this is a relatively long part coming up, so I'm gonna end it off now. Uh, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed.